and be very specific. Remember that the universe wants specificity. The universe doesn't want you to just vaguely visualize. You have to be specific about everything. Be very, very specific because we're going to be doing a meditation on this. So you have to be very specific. What do you want in 2021? And let me give you an example just to get a more insight. If you are not married and you want to get married or you're looking for your dream partner, your soulmate, you have to be specific in terms of the age group. Because the other day, a friend of mine asked me, Amrita, I want to manifest a guy in my life. I said, the most important thing is, so she was getting all these guys in her life, all the people in her life, all the men, but she was not getting the one she wanted because she didn't specify the age group. And she did not specify that she wanted a divorcee. So when you're writing in, you have to be very specific. What do you want? Every detail has to be there. And you can also be specific if you're looking for a job or a better promotion, do mention the date and the, the date you have to mention, the year you have to mention. You have to be as specific as possible. So take your five minutes and write down what do you want and be very specific.
And if you've written down what do you want in 2021, write in the chat, yes, done, so we can go ahead. Great iPhone. Great Lala. Me your name is Mina or is it like, uh, hi, you can unmute yourself. I would love to know you and I would love to hear your voice. You can unmute yourself for a minute and we could say hi to each other. Unmute yourself, uh, iPhone. Okay, let me see. Okay. Do you hear me? Namaste. Yes, of course. You Hello. Namaste. Hello. So I am uh, Lelamina. I'm from France. Uh, bon. What else? Uh, I'm Arabic woman, but born and bred here. You know, what else? Uh, I don't know what to say about myself, you know? It depends. I just like caught you on the Facebook group. I said, what is this lady? I was just like, just opening 10 seconds. I see you talking. I said, okay, why not? <laughs> so, nah, I don't know what to say. If you want any, you know, I'm just here trying to, well, I have heard so far few things about law of attraction but i would just like to have your own way of saying that you know your opinion because i may be from india i didn't as a way of thinking i don't know <laughs> pleasure to have you here so Merci. it's a very, very in-depth class we just started off right right now so mm -hmm. uh, you've written your what do you want so that's amazing and now the thing is so fine so um let's do this now right okay so you all have written it down is prashant uh, prashant padadia have you written it down your what do you want in 2021 and be very very specific so prashant uh, mention the chat that you've written it down and uh, hi serene namaste serene unmute yourself you were there for my first class okay. namaste how are you I'm a little unwell, but God it's okay. Godspeedy recovery. God speedy recovery to you. And you'll be thank fine you soon. So Thank you very much. Thank you. So, uh, yes, yeah, so you all have written it down. Thank you. So let's, um, sorry. Okay. So let's, uh, now that you've written it down, uh, you've written it down with a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions and you've been very specific as to what do you want. Now, see, when you've come into this class, you have to be a receiver. Don't have any doubts. What is she going to talk about? What is Amrita going to talk about? Leave all that outside. Now that we're here, we are a family. We are a community, right? And it always starts by taking the first step, the second step, and that's how community gets built. So it's not like one class I'm going to have with you. I'm looking forward to having my other classes also. And um, so let's start with a, med, uh, with a visualization in terms of practicing the law of attraction, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our palms, right? In the receiving mode, we're going to close our eyes. We're going to put our spine straight and just come in oneness with yourself and your environment, let the thoughts go by. Don't judge them. Don't get involved in them. Just be a silent watcher and observer of your thoughts. Let these thoughts all go by. And the more these thoughts go by, the more oneness you come with yourself and your environment. Now I want you to deeply inhale all the positivity, all the goodness, all the abundance in your life and all the abundance coming in your life. Exhale all the negativity, the negative toxins, the self-limiting beliefs, all that is holding you back from living your life of your dreams. Deeply inhale all the positivity, all the goodness, 
all the abundance in your life and all the abundance coming in your life. Exhale all the negativity, the negative toxins, the self-limiting beliefs, all that is holding you back to be your best version. Deeply inhale all the positivity, all the goodness, all the abundance in your life and all the abundance coming in your life. Exhale all the negativity, all the negative toxins, all the self-limiting beliefs, all that is holding you back to live the life of your dreams. Now, in your mind's eye, I want you to see everything you've written on the piece of paper and bring in a lot of specificity, a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions because what you can see in your mind's eye, you can see in reality. So see in your mind's eye, all that you put on the piece of paper, everything. Put in a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. Energy in motion is emotion. And the intensity of feelings you'll put in, along with your aligned actions, will make it happen. So put in a lot of feelings and believe that this is your reality in 2021. So put in a lot of emotions. Believe that this is your reality in 2021. See everything in specifics, in details, all of it. Now come in oneness with this person and this is your reality. And you're going to see all this coming to you in 2021. And when you're in oneness with this reality of yours, what you can see in your mind's eye, you're in oneness with this person because this person is you. And every word has the power what I'm saying. So believe in it and own up to it because it's all yours in 2021. And when you're in oneness with this person, rub your palms, feel the joy, the happiness, what you will feel when you get all this in 2021. Put your palms on your eyes, awaken your senses, feel the joy, the happiness, the bliss, all this abundance, all that you've written on that piece of paper and you saw in your mind's eye is all coming to you in 2021. Put your palms and ears, feel the love, the joy, the happiness. All this is yours in 2021. Feel the palms, put the palms at the back of your neck, feel the joy, the happiness, the love. All this is coming to you in 2021. Believe in everything you've seen in your mind's eye because what you can see in your mind's eye, you can see in reality. It is all true. And this is your reality in 2021. Bring your palms together. Namaste. Bow down. Thank God. Thank your higher self. Thank yourself for bringing in that clarity in your visualization. And now you will take aligned actions because you know that the aligned actions is the key to manifesting all that you want. And when you're in oneness with yourself, your environment, and all that you see in your mind's eye, you can open your eyes.
So how was the experience? How do you feel? Write in the chat what you felt. Thank you so much, Lala Meena. Thank you. Thank you, Serene. Thank you, Prashant. This is your reality in 2021. And aligned actions. And you have to commit to yourself that it's all coming to you. Because all the abundance somebody else has is a vibration away and not time away. It's all yours. And you will tell me in 2021 that yes, Amrita, it's all come true as time goes by. And that's why in my book, I've mentioned, dream your biggest dream, believe in it, actions. Actions make it happen. Because when I was writing my book, I said that why are people just talking about asking? Because when you're asking, you're asking from a scarcity mindset. You're asking because you don't have it. Why not dream it? Why not visualize it, dream it, rather than asking? Because you can dream your biggest dream and it's all yours. And a lot of time people forget action, aligned actions. So when I was writing my book, I said my subtitle has to have act because it just cannot be visualized and believe and receive, no. That'll never happen. It can never happen. Because without taking actions and aligned ones, what you've seen in your mind's eye, you have to take actions now aligned to it. And it's all yours because each one of you are a miracle. 2020 was a pandemic year. A lot of people lost their life, but we're still here because we have to fulfill our divine purpose. We have to fulfill, we're not done. And that's why we're here. And the divine purpose, when I'm talking about this, is in your backstory. So let's do an exercise in the divine purpose since I'm talking about that. Let's understand our divine purpose. You know, when you were in your formative years, you were so courageous. You were so bold. You didn't care what others were saying to you. You were like carefree. You were so full of spirit. And you were not conditioned by your society or by your environment or the cultural environment or the social environment. Just give me one second. Sorry for the laptop battery. Yeah. So when you were in your formative years, you had an amazing life because you were like, you did what you wanted to do. You never really thought what people were saying to you, what you were hearing, it didn't matter. And the thing is that when you go back in your life story, when your formative years, you can write down your points also because I'm going to be giving in the points. What is that one thing you enjoy doing without feeling hungry, without getting tired? So I want you to reflect back on your life right now. Go back. You, I'm sure you can go back to when you're about five years old or six years old or seven years old. That age bracket of five to seven, what were you doing? Go back in time. And you can close your eyes also. Just go back in time and think about what you were doing when you were five years old, six years old, or seven years old. Like for me, I'll give you my example. I used to love writing. I used to write a lot of poetry. So when I asked God, <laughs> wow, that's amazing to watch the sky and playing. Wonderful, Lala Mina. So when I was that age, I used to love writing poetry. And I used to get all my family members together. And I would say, I want to recite a poetry to you. So, you know, when I asked this question four years back from God, I said, God, I'm not seeing a different reality. I'm not seeing a change in my reality. Why am I here? What is my purpose in life? When I asked these deeper questions, I was shown the way. And I started my inner transformation journey four years back. And that is the only journey you have to take in your life because your outside results 
don't define you. So leave the outside results. Whatever has happened so far in your life, forget about it. You just have to go inside, connect with your inner self and align yourself with your higher self. So when I started my journey of inner transformation, I asked the question, what is my divine purpose? In two years, I started writing my book and I was given my answer. And this book has got my entire inner transformation journey from what I was a mediocre mindset with so many self-limiting beliefs, a conditioned mindset with fears, doubts, worry to becoming an abundant mindset. And I wrote my book because I wanted to share it with the world. It's got questions in that. It's got links in that. It's got a lot of quotations. It's a very interactive book. So you can get your book once the session is over. But um, you need to go back on your backstory. And remember the challenges you went through in your life. And when you overcame those challenges, that is your success recipe. Whatever happened to you in your life, when you overcame that, that was a success recipe. And a lot of people are still maybe in that same situation where you were about seven years back or eight years back or 15 years back, you came out of it. And that is what is your divine purpose. The pains you went through and when you came out of it, the re recipe you got, the success recipe you got is your divine purpose. So you have to reflect back on your life first of all, on what I love doing. Thank you so much, Prashant. Thank you. So that is your divine purpose. The problem is that people are always looking outside. They're always caught up in so many other thoughts, but what they forget is that they have to reflect back on their story because your divine purpose is in your story of your life. And when I reprogram my subconscious mind in the theta state, I realized that I wanted to become a coach of the power of subconscious mind, the law of attraction and self-love. And I said, I'm going to give all this unconditionally. So having said that, let's go further. So uh, now that you know how to visualize, I've spoken about the aligned actions. I've also spoken about the divine purpose, but you have to do self-reflection because that's very important. You know, we, people are so consumed with other people that they forget to take out that me time. And that me time is very, very important because you have to reflect back on your life. And your biggest challenges are your biggest blessings. Because if I hadn't gone through all this, what I went through, I wouldn't be here where I am. So every challenge that comes into your life, always thank for that challenge and always think what you can learn from that. And that's very important because every challenge is there for you to become a better person and a more evolved person. So having said that, let's go on the next section. So just give me a second, please. Right, so we spoke about this and uh, okay. Now, the second thing is we're going to be talking about a very, very powerful law of attraction technique, which is the vision board. Now, I'm sure all of you have heard about the vision board, but has it really worked in your life? My question is that to you. So I would like to know in the chat that has your vision board worked for you? So mention in the chat that, first of all, have you practiced? Right, Lala Meena. Yes, and I can understand that, but I'm there for you in terms of understanding how this works because my vision board, I've been practicing for four years. When I understood the principles, the fundamental, it's always worked for me. 
but there are fundamental in principles towards the vision board and a lot of time people don't pay attention to the foundation they focus more on the structure and the foundation has to be strong for the building to stand serene is writing it but not exactly i always feel uncertainty yes prashant working on some of right okay now let's understand that the principle of law of attraction is that like attracts like now what does it mean if you have a vision board which has a lot of pictures right if you put in a lot of pictures onto it firstly are your images resonating with your emotions what you want in 2021 or maybe earlier about 2018 or 2019 those images did they resonate with what you wanted because a lot of time people take out images but their emotions are not aligned with their images the most important thing is that your images have to be aligned with your emotions now what you've written down what do you want what you could do is you could take out images based on what you've written down find out images after this class and we will be doing the next class on the vision board but i'll tell you what you can be ready for the next class so take out images keeping in mind what you've written in terms of your what do you want in 2021 you can take out these images on google you can take out these images on uh, from the magazine but have very strong emotions and when you look at a picture you have to say that yes this is what i want in 2021 your images have to be very very strong and you because every time i have taken out my images i know that this is what i want in that year so you have to firstly keep in mind that secondly the law of attraction principle is like attracts like and a lot of time what people do is they take out a lot of images and they say okay let's put this image let's put this image let's put this image by the time they complete their vision board it's a clutter it's a confusion happening on the vision board and the thing is firstly you have to put in less pictures because if you're going to put in a lot of pictures you're giving out confusion or you're giving out chaos so what you give out is what you get back because the law of vibration says that what you give out is what you're going to get back So if you're going to give out confusion and if you're going to give out chaos then that is what you're going to get back in your life. So take out few images. Just don't have too many images, take out few which defines what you want in 2021. And that's very important. Second thing is that you remember that whatever you focus on it expands and you attract that in your life. Now if you're going to make your vision board very cluttered you cannot focus on anything because your focus is going to go on all the areas it's not going to be you know a few specific areas because your vision board if it's cluttered with so many images then how can you ever focus and you're only attracting confusion in your life so have less images and also remember that your vision board has to be kept right in front of you so when you wake up in the morning when you waking up or just before going to sleep it has to be in front of you like i always have my vision board in front of the wall in front of me the wall which is in front of me i always put my vision board there because i know when i'm waking up in the morning it's a theta state and in the theta state your subconscious mind is maximum receptive it's a sponge which will take in everything so when you wake up in the morning and you look at that vision board you know what you want in 2021 and your actions are then aligned a lot of time people put their vision board in places where it's not even visible and if you will not look at your vision board often then how can you get that what you want because remember your visualization your visual images play a huge role in what you want in your life and the visuals are very very impactful so you have to wake up looking at your vision board you have to go to sleep looking at your vision board 
because when you're going to sleep looking at your vision board it's again getting instilled in your subconscious mind and what your subconscious mind accepts it comes in reality so it's very important to understand these things so in our next class we're going to be making the vision board so you're going to show me your images what images you've got i will tell you i'll look at those images and i'll understand why you've picked up that image what is the reason for you to pick up that image and every time you pick up an image ask yourself what is my why why am i picking up this image is it aligned with what i visualized is it aligned with what i want in 2021 so you need to take out every time be conscious about the images you picking up because it will create your reality and you can get everything everything is yours all that you visualize right now it's all coming to you so take out images in resonance with what you visualize right now for 2021 so that's about the vision board we're going to be doing the class next weekend and um now let's go to the next step affirmations right we all have done affirmations so let's understand the very important a very powerful tool and technique for law of attraction is affirmation now uh, you know do you understand that every word you're saying is an affirmation every word uh, every word you write or you speak is an affirmation if you're blaming someone you're affirming that in your life if you're angry you're affirming that in your life if you're saying life sucks you are affirming that in your life if you say it is too hard you're affirming that in your life if you say i'm not good enough you're affirming that in your life so observe what are you affirming the whole day because that is becoming your reality what are the thoughts that are going on and you're affirming it every second every minute of the day and affirmations are very very powerful uh, statements so what you could do is that after the class is over in fact in the night or when you wake up the next morning i want you to go in front of the mirror go in front of the mirror look at yourself what i do is every morning i wake up with a grateful heart you know i start thanking everything now they, that might sound stupid dumb silly really whatever you could think of any other adjective you can but when you waking up in the morning you waking up with a ground level with a ground zero and you can decide how you want your day to turn out to be right and how i would say a morning a morning ritual is m meditate first thing in the morning o oneness with yourself and your environment r realign yourself n no negativity i intention for the day n no social media handles g gratitude imagine starting your morning like this when you have an empowering morning your day becomes empowering your day becomes magical becomes great and say to yourself that today i decide to let go of all the limitations as i know that i am a limitless being today i create the future and today i know that the law of attraction is working in the best interest of mine and today is a great day today is a so when i go in front of the mirror i look at my third eye so this is the third eye between the two eyebrows and i look at myself and i smile how often have you looked at the mirror and smiled at yourself just looking at yourself and appreciating for who you are just owning up to who you are because you are enough and you are amazing and you are significant so why not go in front of the mirror and acknowledge yourself smile at yourself and talk to your third eye i am good enough i am the best i am significant i am the beloved child of god in universe i'm going to have a great day so why not say all this rather than being so hard on yourself all the time rather than beating up yourself all the time rather than thinking of negative thoughts all the time why so are you being your best friend 
or are you being your own enemy because the only person who can come in your way is you yourself you can either become your best friend or you can become your enemy and you all are love so let's create this world full of love and not of fear or hatred or envious or comparing these are all negative these are all negative affirmations and they're like all low vibration what vibration are you at if you want abundance you have to be at high vibration because you will only get what vibration you're at because you are a vibrational being in this vibrational universe you're attracting every second of your life so what are you attracting what are you doing ask yourself these are very important questions to ask yourself and you will get everything provided you realize that the power is within you and that you are born for greatness now let's do an exercise on affirmation so let's close our eyes and the index finger we will take here just look at this and then close the eyes and say to yourself i'm having an abundant mindset i'm having an abundant mindset i'm having an abundant mindset now believe in these words this is your reality own up to it and you will see an abundant life don't bring in any doubts don't doubt it even for a second because you are having an abundant mindset and when you're in oneness with this person you can open your eyes the other affirmation So rain once you in oneness with yourself we need to go on the second affirmation Right now the second affirmation we're going to practice again let's close our eyes bring our left palm on the heart chakra the right palm on the left palm close our eyes All of you close your eyes embrace silence and say to yourself i am a magnet to health i am a magnet to health i am a magnet to health 
and believe in every word you've said because every word is powerful and it creates your reality. The second affirmation is I am a magnet to happiness. I am a magnet to happiness. I am a magnet to happiness. B believe in every word you've said right now because you were, these words are very powerful and these words create your reality and you are happiness and you're gonna spread happiness everywhere you go and you will attract happiness every day of your life. The next affirmation is, I am a magnet to love. I am a magnet to love. I am a magnet to love. And you are a magnet to love. Believe in every word. And yes, you do attract love every day of your life. And you give love and spread love wherever you go. And you will from now on operate from the love mode rather than the fear mode. There is no fear. And the last affirmation is, I am a magnet to wealth. I am a magnet to wealth. I am a magnet to wealth. And money comes into my life every day, easily and effortlessly. Money loves me and I love money. Every day I'm financially go growing richer and richer and more of money is coming into my life every day. I am a magnet to wealth and money. Wealth is coming in every day of your life. And when you're in oneness with all these affirmations of yours, put in first of all, a lot of feelings, a lot of belief that this is your reality. Don't doubt it. And always remember every word is creating your reality. Either you write it down or you're saying it out. Everything is creating your reality. So believe in these affirmations. And when you're in oneness with these affirmations and you know that yes, this is my reality, you can open your eyes. And affirmations are not just one of the day kind of practice. You have to practice this every day. I've been practicing it for the past four years. Make it consistent. Because the difference between success and failure is consistency. And repetition is the key to empower yourself with these affirmations. And you must do this in your theta state just when you wake up in the morning and just before going to sleep. And you can do another thing in terms of affirmation. What I do every day for the past four years is when I'm closing my eyes, I'm saying to myself in my subconscious mind, success, 
success, success. Because success is a very broad term. So when I'm saying success to my subconscious mind, it means success in my personal life and professional life. You know, and health is wealth. And this is the body in which we live. And this is our temple. And always remember that the mind and body are interconnected. It is not just to, you know, have healthy food or to be particular about your diet, but you have to have, you have to feed your mind with positive thoughts because just feeding your body with positive things is not good enough or healthy things is not good enough. It is nourishing your mind with positive thoughts, with positive affirmations and nourishing your body with a healthy, well-balanced diet. And you must practice this every day because one of the case and you say, oh, Amrita, I'm not seeing any results. There are no instant gratification. Like even the law of gender says that, for example, you have any seed in your mind in terms of either your affirmations or your goals. What happens is that what happens is that basically you have to keep on focusing on your goals. You have to keep on focusing on your goals till you accomplish them in your life. Imagine getting a plant and not watering it. It's going to die. Or a pregnant woman is a woman who's pregnant saying, oh, it's been three months now. I'm done with pregnancy. The baby has to come out right now. The baby cannot come right now before nine months because that cycle has to finish. And remember, even a farmer, right? A farmer, when he's putting in a seed, he can't say, oh, I've just put in the seed right now and I need to see the crop right now. There is a gestation period and there is a harvest period. Every thought of yours, every affirmation you say is the seed you're planting in your subconscious mind. And you have to keep on focusing on the goals. You have to keep on taking aligned actions. Because without action, nothing happens. Even the law of attraction, last word is action. Attract through attraction, uh, through action. So you're attracting through action. And without action, nothing will happen. If somebody is trying to tell you somewhere out that, no, 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 I think I'll just make your life perfect and it's going to happen within 15 days for you. Don't take any action. Just ask and believe and receive. Let's understand that that person doesn't know what that person is saying. That person is not your well-wisher. And the thing is that right now, people are in search of people who can help them. So find the right people. And for me, you are my community. I will not give you a quick fix remedy because there is no quick fix remedy. There are no shortcuts in life. And even Rome wasn't built overnight. I'm not going to tell you, oh, you know what, like come for my three classes and it's just going to manifest everything right now. No, you have to practice every day. And even after my three, four classes, we're going to be meeting up again and again. We're going to be going more and more into the depth. Because I'm there for you. And I will call a spade a spade. There, nothing you get without action. And that's very important for you to understand aligned actions, not just any action. Right? So let's go to the next slide. Practice the power of positive affirmation in daily life to achieve your goals. And uh, the other thing is that uh, I want to play a video for you right now. So just give me a minute. Namaste, Nathan. Good you joined in. I was wondering you hadn't joined the class. Yeah, I I didn't get the email. So oh, okay. I actually came on Instagram and then the spirit told me to check on your Instagram and I saw the, the meeting code and the password. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience, but my team, I don't know, because I spoke to my team and she said that she sent the mail to everybody, but I'm really sorry. And, and Nathan, come on the video. Nathan is one of my very active followers on Instagram. And uh, so Nathan, come on the video. It'll be wonderful to see you here because we always sure. meet on the Instagram. <laughs> yeah. 
Are you uh, as recorded, right? Yes. Okay, so I don't have to. Hi, Nathan. Namaste. Yeah. Hello. That's Nathan. He's a very active follower of mine on Instagram. I think we've had a couple of Instagram live sessions together. You That's know? Correct. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to show a video right now. Nathan, why didn't sure. you tell a little bit about, you know, because you know me, I think, much earlier. So mm -hmm. uh, why didn't you tell everyone who's here in terms of me and what your experience has been on Instagram? So let's hear from Nathan till I get the video. Sure. Um, well, good evening for those in India and good morning from the US. Um, and Pashant, good morning to you. Uh, good evening to you. Yeah, so I was looking for like meditation and um, a specific meditation from Hawaii called Hoponopono. And I came across just about when I was looking at uh, doing a meditation, I saw Am Amrita on somebody's meditation or Instagram live and I joined and that was it. I became, became friends and um, we've connected a few times and I really appreciate her energy. Very peaceful. Yes. So thank you so much. Thank you, Nathan. And I'm ready with my video, which I want to show everybody. Thank you so much, Nathan, for joining in and for all the people joining in. So just give me a minute. Until the meantime, all of you can write down what you've learned today, what, what you've gone through, your aha moments. Try I get this video ready? Just give me a second, please. Right, I'm ready. So sorry for the little delay, but uh, just give me a minute. Thank you. Yeah. What 
you speak over your life is what your life will become. If you were always talking about how you're stuck where you are, how you can't find a way to get out of the situation you're in, how you never get any luck, how you'll never be wealthy, well, you're right. You'll never have those things if that's what you say, that's what you believe. If you don't believe it, you won't even try to get it. Instead of saying, I don't know how to do it, say, I'm committed to learn how to do it. Instead of saying, I always procrastinate and never get anything done, say, I'm going to find something that matters to me more than anything, and then I'm going to get the job done. Instead of saying, I'm a failure, say, I failed. I've learned the lesson, and when I become a huge success, that failure is going to make for one hell of a story. Instead of saying, my best days are behind me, say, my best is yet to come. Instead of believing others are born lucky or with special gifts, know that you are capable of anything. Know that you can study and commit to learning from great people. Know that you can become a great person in your own way. Every day, look yourself in the mirror and say, I am a great person. I am a kind person. I am strong. I am capable of anything. I am growing over each day. I am committed. I am determined. I have no limits. I can have the health and the body of my choice. I will have the health and the body of my choice. I can have the wealth of my choice. I will have the wealth of my choice. I don't deserve abundance. I am worthy. I am more than worthy. I can make a huge difference in others' lives. I will make that difference. Gandhi once said, your beliefs become your thoughts. Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Your habits become your values. Your values become your destiny. When you start blending your beliefs and your words together, they become so powerful you can move mountains. You are the creator of your destiny, and it starts with the words you speak into your life. Speak positive things into your life, strong things. Speak love and happiness into your life, and you'll go to more than happiness. Speak good of others, and you may see more good from others. Speak your dreams into existence. Your dreams will become reality. Act and live as though they are, and they soon will be. Muhammad Ali said he would be the greatest, and he became the greatest. He had no doubt in his mind. That is a state level of certainty you should speak about your dream. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am wise. Opportunities are everywhere. Money flows with ease. Money is everywhere. I'm attracting such amazing people into my life. I am blessed. I am surrounded by blessings. I am fit. I am such a positive influence to those around me. I have amazing friends. I am abundant. I am constantly growing my income. I am constantly growing myself. I am constantly getting healthier, stronger, and better. My relationships are getting stronger every day. Love, enjoy every day. Stable skills may break your bones.
because they reprogram your mind, your thoughts and beliefs. Some of the most successful people on earth practice daily affirmations. If you're doing it consistently, every single day, in the morning, before you start your day, you will begin to develop new beliefs, and your life will start to change before your eyes. If it's not natural at first, if you feel like your words aren't believable, stick with it. The goal is to feel as though you already have the things you want. As you speak the words, feel as though you are already that person. Whatever words. Down. Your own affirmation. To read them every day. That's the key. Repetition. They get old. Just they more powerful and meaningful. Right. Yeah. So I want you now to write down after seeing the video, after what I've spoken to you, what is your I am on a piece of paper? Take five minutes, write it down. And I'm going to tell you further how to practice your affirmations more. So write down your I am's. And of course, start with I am a conscious creator. Don't just be a creator. A creator is creating from the default system, from the conditioned mindset, from doubts, from fears, from worries. You're not a creator. You're a conscious creator. So take five minutes and write down your I am's. Nathan, we're doing an exercise in I am. So take five minutes and write down what your I am's are. And of course, I am a conscious creator because you're not just a creator anymore. You're going to consciously decide how to live your life and you're going to be conscious about everything. So write down your I am, a conscious creator, and then your rest of your I am's.
if you've written down your IAMs, you can mention the chat that you have written your IAMs. And then let's go further. So write in the chat that, so Prashant is saying done. Lalamina is saying done. Okay, I'm right to mine now. Okay, Nathan. And remember, you can accomplish everything in your life. So don't have any doubts. Don't second question it. Just believe that I am and that is your reality. So Prashant has done his I am. You can mention the chat, Prashant, if you've done your I am. Yes, so Prashant is saying, yes, I've done my I am. Great. Nathan is also saying done, great. Now what I want you to do is that remember, the theta state is a state when your subconscious mind is maximum receptive. At that time, you have to read your I am's in front of the mirror. Because when you read in front of the mirror, it's getting reflected back at you. And you have to believe in every I am of yours. So just before going to sleep, read out. You can close your eyes, visualize what you've written in the I am. And when you wake up in the morning, go in front of the mirror and say it with a lot of conviction, a lot of belief that this is your reality. And this is you in 2021. So now let's go further. You can mention the chat that you Right, so just give me a second. Right, so just give me one second, please. When, when would the re recording be available after we're done? Uh, so what I'm going to do is, Nathan, I'm going to mail it to you and okay. uh, I'm going to mail it to everybody. So once I get the um, email IDs, I'll be mailing it to you so you can all listen to it. And uh, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Pleasure, Nathan. Pleasure. Right. Okay. Now, the most important thing is to understand. Sorry. Just give me one second. Okay, so the most important thing to remember is that basically, yeah, everything has to be action based. Because if you're not aligning your action with whatever you're saying in terms of your affirmation, in terms of your visualization, in terms of all these aspects, the very powerful tools of law of attraction, then nothing will work. So you have to keep in mind that action is what is going to make it come to reality. So that is very important. And um, so action is very important. And now we go to the next aspect, which is that you have to be grateful all the time. Because if you're not grateful, then you will not get all this in your life. And remember, what you focus on expands and gets attracted in your life. So a magical pill, which I would love to give you right now, is gratitude. That practice, be thankful in every minute, every second of your life, because the more thankful you are, that is what you're giving out. And that is what is going to come back to you 
which is the law of vibration right so be thankful of everything in your life and be grateful and also acknowledge and appreciate all the abundance you have in your life because when you do that then more comes in your life so this is just a image of the gratefulness thankfulness and also that affirmations i said are very powerful statements so practice it in theta state you know and don't ever come in the negative vibration or negative emotion because when you thinking negative is when you attracting negative so what you're focusing on will always get attracted in your life and even if you're feeling down or low just think of something you're grateful for because when you do that then you come on a high vibration so do that and that's important and as i said that in my next class we're going to be doing a vision board exercise wherein you need to get first of all the images which strongly resonate with what you've written about what do you want in 2021 because those images have to be in strong resonance with what you want so when after this class you know go on your google go and have a look at the magazines see these images and when you come for the next class of mine bring in these images but ask yourself that what why am i choosing this image is it aligning with what i want in 2021 or is it just an any other image so you need to pick up those images and when you come in my next class i will talk to you on your images i'm going to take each one of you personally see your images and then we're going to put it on the vision board and remember like attracts like so what it means is that if you make your vision board cluttered or have a lot of images on your vision board you're sending out confusion and you're sending out chaos and that is what is going to come back in your life so that is very important to understand so bring in the images and my next class we're going to make the vision board of yours of 20 or 21 so you can get everything in your life in 2021 so you've got a week to go and uh, bring in the images also bring in a chart paper let me show you some images and chart paper and the one i use in and i'll also show you my vision board which i made on the 31st night because i make my vision board every year on 31st of december 2020 and that so this is a chart paper you'll get right a blank sheet you're going to get in for the next class and a few images i want to show you are uh, so these are few of the images for me which i resonate with because i love learning every day and spend a lot of time in learning because remember the more you learn the more you evolve and grow as a person right and it's important to learn so i spend about 5 hours every day in learning and it's not just about learning but it's about implementation because if you're just going to learn and not implement you will become like maybe a book kept in a book rack but if you learn and you implement then you develop yourself every day so the images i resonate maxim with is learning something new every day so if you look at this image learning something new every day so lala meena is like can you get a little closer of course i can so can you see so this is a learning you know something new every day because i love learning every day because i know that the only way i can evolve and grow as a person every day is by learning and remember you don't need to compare yourself to anybody the only person you have to compare yourself to is you who were you yesterday and who are you today how much have you learned how much have you implemented because remember the law of attraction says attract through your actions and that's very important the second thing is that remember we were talking earlier about the divine purpose right when i made you understand what the divine purpose is so your passion right a lot of people say okay so what is my passion in life now your passion is something that is basically your divine purpose in a way that what do you love doing the whole day without getting tired without feeling hungry what is that thing you love doing and you have to when you thinking of this think of like you have to write on a piece of paper what do you love doing the whole day without getting tired like for me 
I love coaching people from all over the world. I love connecting with all of you and, you know, sharing with you all the value to service you. Because I want this world to be a beautiful world. I want everyone to believe and know that they are love and this world to become a place of love and not fear, not hatred, not comparisons, not envious, but a world full of love. So this is one of the images I strongly resonate with, which is um, this image. It says, follow your passion. So follow your passion. Look at this image. You know, it's one of the images I strongly resonate with. Follow your passion. Because remember, your passion will lead to success. But if you do something which you don't enjoy doing, then you're dragging yourself every day. Then you're living a life just out of just sake of living, but you're not really living your life. So live a life based on passion and the success will be yours, right? The other thing is that a lot of time people are so caught up with their thoughts or what they're doing the whole day, they forget their family. And remember, time is limited. We are not here forever. And what is the point to remember somebody when the person is not there? How about telling them, expressing to them that how much they mean to you and how much they complete you? So why not do, you know, like for example, for me, I love this image. You know, it says spending quality time together. You know, I want to spend my maximum time with my family members with all my loved not ones not. because we're not here forever. And we need to understand that. So that's really important. And you know, what you could also do is a way of practicing gratitude could also be, you could write an expressive message, right? To your loved ones, to your loved ones, if you could write and like, you don't have to write like, thank you so-and-so. Why not write, thank you so-and-so. I had a lovely time with you. I really enjoyed with you. Because when you're sending out that message, the person who's getting it also feels happy. So why not wake up in the morning and think of few people who you want to thank in your life and send them a text message. And the more thankful you become in life, the more abundance comes in your life. The more blessings come in your life. And we are blessed with a lot of things which you don't even acknowledge. So we have to realize the power. Thank you so much, Lala Meena. We have to realize the power of gratitude and make gratitude your attitude. Because when you make gratitude your attitude, then all the abundance comes in your life and you live an abundant life. So have an attitude of gratitude. You know, thank everything. Send messages to people. Make them realize how much they mean to you, how, they, how much they complete you. And this is, of course, my book, which is I Am a Conscious Creator. It's got a five-star rating within two months on Amazon. So you can get a copy of my book. And you're not just a creator. You're a conscious creator. You know, I wonder sometimes that why do people are so happy by saying, I'm a creator, I'm a creator. Like, We've been creating all our life. So what is there something new that I'm going to learn for you when you're going to say, oh, I'm a creator. Now you're creating based on your default system, based on your self-limiting beliefs, your fears, your doubts, your worries. So why are you getting so excited about saying I'm a creator? Say I'm a conscious creator. I consciously take the design process of life in my hand. I'm conscious in every second of my life. And when you become a conscious creator, you become a mindful creator. Now, I don't mean mindful in terms of having negative thoughts in your mind and making your mind full. What I mean is, I mean having a mindful thought in terms of having all the positive thoughts in your mind. A mindful of abundance of, of uh, positive thoughts and have a grateful heart. Don't overlook even one of your blessings. Because if you're going to overlook your blessings, God will say you're a selfish person. 
and you will not get abundance in your life. So say that, acknowledge all the blessings, just be happy and grateful and be a deliberate creator. Don't focus on what you don't have, focus on what you've got and you will get more of it. So be it, so it is. So just give me one second, please. I am so sorry. So yeah, so I'm just saying that, you know, be deliberate creators because you create the life you're thinking all the time. Your thoughts will lead to your feelings. What kind of feelings are you having? What kind of a negative talk are you having with yourself? Are you having a negative talk? Are you being so hard on yourself? Or are you realizing all that you've got and you know that you are born for greatness and that you are a miracle. Because if you were not born for greatness or you were not a miracle or you were not meant to be here, you wouldn't have been here. And believe in every word I'm saying because I have practiced all this for four years. Believe in every word of mine because this is a reality. So it's um, been a great session. I think we've really, it's been so wonderful to connect with all of you. And uh, it's been really amazing. I think, you know, we've been on this since uh, seven in the evening and it's been such a pleasure to connect with all of you. And now let's bring in, uh, let's bring, bring in Lala Meena first. Lala Meena, unmute yourself, Lala Meena. Uh, unmute yourself. I can't hear you. And now, do you hear me? Yes, perfect. So, um, what do you think about the session? We started at seven o'clock. In you are such a sweet, amazing. You, you know, we had a lot of coach talking, but I swear you are different. You have something so pure. It's like, oh my, I was like, you know, because I was like, okay, maybe another coach, you know, like another coach. <laughs> And I was like, oh, wow. The way he's, she's, you say things, I was like amazed. The, I mean, the way you, you say it, you know, you manners, you, you are so great. Honestly, huh? I'm like, because I'm very picky. I'm very like, mm, you know, very criticized. <laughs> and um, I was like, just happy to listen all your words. And, uh, you know, I was not meant to be there. It was just all by chance. And I was like, Honestly, I'm very, very happy, just like happy. And uh, I will try to call all my friends from France <laughs> and say, hey, there is a girl in India. <laughs> you have to follow. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm surprised and I'm very thankful of all your words. And uh, may God make you always happy and successful. Thank you so Bonne much, Lina. And yes, yes for the first one. Oui, ah, I'll get you on. So just give me a second. Um, Nathan, one second. So thank mm. you so much, Lala Mina, because you joined when the class started. And you were the first mm. ones to join in. And it's such a blessing to have you because I think you went through everything with me. And we did mm. everything in the presentation and all our exercises and our meditation. So I think um, yeah. you got the complete you know, packages yeah. it as you say. <laughs> <laughs> no thank you honestly thank you thank you and very I'm much. so looking forward to having all your friends for the next Saturday and bring in all your images yeah. I'm going to have a look at your images and I'm going to ask you your why because the more whys you ask yourself the deeper understanding you get about why do you want this in 2021 right yes yeah, I will why. okay super I will and again thank you honestly yeah, thank you is not even enough <laughs> I feel very blessed. I feel really blessed and thank you so we much. We are blessed to have you. Come on. Thank you so Lala. much. Thank you, Lala Meena. Thank and you. let's bring in now Serain Gali. Serain. Um, yes, Serain. So <laughs> unmute yourself. Serain, you were, of course, one of the first ones to join in with Hello. Lala Meena. Hello, Amita. Namaste, Serain. Namaste. Right. 
So you you were there for my first session, and you are there now for my second session. So what is mm -hmm. your experience been? Uh, I'm very feeling feeling very wonderful. Uh, my name is uh, actually Suren Gali. Gali. Right, Suren. You got Suren, it, Amrita. Community, don't hesitate. Just speak openly. And we are all there for you because I'm a very strong believer. My tribe is my wife. Actually, I want to bring more more friends in your program today. Thank you I so much. I've gone to hiking uh, some now, some hours ago. Uh, but uh, during uh, returning home, it becomes late, so I cannot bring them. Uh, Dipendra missed uh, it today. My friend Dipendra and uh, other friends. I think they will come in next time. Uh, I was really excited uh, to be in your second class, and uh, uh, I tried uh, as much as possible to, to be in time <coughs> to join your class. Uh, uh, like and like uh, la last week, uh, these are some very wonderful session, uh, and I really enjoyed it. And uh, I am more than thank. Thankful for you for uh, being here and, and giving such a beautiful and useful knowledge. Uh, I'm really feeling abundance, abund abundance in my life, in every part of uh, part of my life, and I'm uh, I I will I, I'm very confident that uh, I will really enjoy more <laughs> abundance in uh, coming future. Thank you, Amrita. I want this much for today. Thank, thank you, you very, so very much. much. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, let's bring in our next person, Prashant. You were there from the beginning, Prashant Patadia. You joined in from the beginning. So uh, Prashant, please unmute yourself. Yeah, Prashant, are you there? Prashant Patadia. So Prashant is writing in, really enjoy the session full of knowledge, action techniques. Thank you so much, Prashant. And I'm going to get in for the next session of us to talk that you talk the next time. But it's fine. I can understand. And let's bring in Nathan, who is one of my very active Instagram followers. And uh, Nathan, please come on the video. So Nathan, unmute yourself. So Nathan Hello. is a very active Instagram follower of mine. And we've had a couple of Instagram live sessions. So Nathan, how was the session? Though you join a little late, it's fine. I can understand. But uh, yeah. tell us your experience. Uh, always super. Always super. It's good to connect with you. And I'm glad that I didn't have the links, but I, I didn't give up. I kept searching. I even called you on Instagram. And uh, <laughs> I, then I found it. Yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you so much. Where there's a will, there's a way. And there yes. are no accidents in life. You were meant to be on this call today. And mm -hmm. thank you so much for joining in. And, uh, yes, you know, when, when is the next one? It's next Saturday at 7 p.m. IST. Okay. Yes. Sounds good. So you need to bring in your images, which you strongly resonate with. And we're going mm -hmm. to be making a vision board and many more things to come in. And uh, I'll be also talking about a gold card. You know, I've been carrying okay. it for four years and how the gold card works. I'll be talking about that. So join that mm -hmm. class because every class of mine is different, which I'm sure Suray knows about because our first class is different. Second class is different. Third is going to be there. So, yeah. So it's going to be about the gold card. It's going to be many more things coming in. So, yes. So thank you so much, Nathan. Thank you for joining thank us. You. Thank Namaste. you. Namaste, conscious creators. Right now, uh, I would like to just say hi to Trinity. She just joined us. But I want to know that. Uh, hi, Trinity. Namaste, Trinity. You can unmute yourself. I can't hear you. Hello. Namaste. You know me as TJ Hill. Oh, wonderful. Yes, of course. Yes, yes, TJ Hill. Married yes. name, divorce yes. name. <laughs> I kept my last name for my kids. And so... I've been trying. It took me and three of my kids to get this to load up. If we had to reinstall Zoom, it was crazy. So 
I got the very last end of what you said. <laughs> but it's okay. It's never too late in life. So it's never too late. And I'm going to be having my next session next Saturday. But I must say Trinity is one of my very active followers on Facebook. And uh, she always follows me on Facebook, like Surin Gali. He's also one of my very active followers on Facebook. And he always say, shares my videos with other people. So TJ Hill is someone who I met on my Facebook. So it's so wonderful. The Tony Robinson. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So it's amazing. So whatever you got today for whatever duration, what do you, what do you think about the class? Um, so far, it's good. Um, it's uh, so far. I mean, I got the last last of my notes but it's um your mind is full abundance depends on your conscious awareness and grateful to your creator that you have to deliberate and think about what you want to create and then be grateful for what you already have in order to restore and gain more perfect great great aha moments sir great aha moments aha moments yeah and then finding your why and it's more like your why now I um I just found mine yesterday. Um, I've wanted to be a stand-up comedian since I was eight years old, and I learned that my grandfather and my father both wanted to be comedians and never did. But it's not something I've ever shared with my dad because we were separated for the most of my life. And um, when I got back around him to visit, everybody was like, "I'm just like a second person to him." It's without even knowing him, I'm just like him. And um, so for me, um, I, I felt like I grew up without a dad. And so to do this, to have the blessing of my dad was like a super big deal. And I was afraid to ask him or tell him about it. And I didn't, you know, and so for his 71st birthday, which was like a, like a week or so ago, I told him that I wanted to, to do this. And he was like, you've got to do it. You're going to regret it if you don't do it now. And I've always said it was something that I wanted to do when I like I'm tired from being a mom, like when they go to college and I'm on and on and I'm an empty nester. That's when I was like, I got nothing to lose and everything to go for. I, would, I don't want to starve. I just want to have my, all my shit together. I want to have my RV and my savings account. I want to do it because I love it. I love to make people laugh. I love to make people smile. It's healing. It's how I survived life was from humor and laughter. And I want to teach other people how to do that. I want to teach other people how to survive by, by humor. And so it's called Opal Humoring Hearts with uh, Healing Hearts with Humor is what my format is. And um, so I got my dad's blessing yesterday. And that's when I was praying about it. And that's how it kind of came about. It's not about my kids. It's not about myself. It's about honoring my father and realizing his dream in front of him before he passes away. So it's kind of given me that extra push to um to do it anyways because it's freaking scary it's hard i get <laughs> and, and telling jokes and and it's awesome because um uh my kids i have them every other week with the divorce now he cheated and i lost my kids that's how that's fair i don't know but um they came back and they're like oh my gosh mom what joke did you write this week how is it going this week and and so my children believe in me as as much as my dad does and my friends do so the only one that doesn't believe in me is me and that's a part of where I'm going through this journey so I've quit my job I'm focusing a hundred percent on um, my uh, my spiritual mental and um, soul I'm trying to just prepare my mind body and soul to go on a journey that I don't know where it's taking me I just know I'm supposed to go does that make sense okay. terrifying so uh, <laughs> a couple of things uh, TJ Hill you know, the only journey we need to take in life is the inward journey. There is no other journey. Ten years back, I had a very conditioned mindset, a lot of self-limiting beliefs, and a lot of doubts, and a lot of fears and worries. And my life wasn't changing. No matter how much hard work I used to do, I would never see a different reality, a different result. And I met a coach of mine at that time, who's a friend of mine, and she said, Amrita, you will have to reprogram your subconscious mind in the theta state. When I heard these words, they were like, oof, totally went above my head because I had never heard reprogram subconscious mind theta state. Like they were not familiar words to me. But then I realized that I went one night on the YouTube and I met my first mentor. 
And when I heard his night meditation, I realized that my journey of inner transformation started. And it's been four years. Every morning, I wake up with a grateful heart. I start thanking everything. It may sound stupid, dumb, you know, silly, but there is the power of gratitude. And ten years back, my dad told me meditate, and I was like, Dad, are you kidding me? I'm not going to meditate. And my mom told me to like do gratitude ten years back, and I ran away from these things. I was like, No, I'm not doing it, because now when I look back. a conditioned mindset can only run away from meditation and gratitude because a conditioned mindset thinks like a conditioned mindset and when i started what's the difference between yes. praying and meditation right that's a very good question tj hill right so mm. the question is when you see praying is just going in front of the like a temple and you just praying right you just praying but when you meditate you're going inside and connecting with your inner self and aligning yourself with your higher self now i want you all to do something that is going to be very interesting uh so it's a question i'm going to be asking all of you let's do this since uh, tj hill asked this question let's close our eyes for uh, let's close our eyes and put your palms on the receiving mode and we're going to be putting our palms on the lap on the receiving mode and uh, so just embrace silence come in oneness with yourself and your environment and now ask yourself the question who am i you need to ask yourself this question who am i now look at yourself from an outside perspective from the outside like a outside person a silent watcher and an observer who is looking at your body now this body of yours is just an avatar in this physical world this body of yours does not define you so look at yourself from the outside and what do you see I don't see anything. Mind's eye. No, no, you don't have to talk right now, TJ. You just don't have to say anything. Just follow the practice. So just follow the practice. Just as from the outside, when you look at yourself, what do you see? Go deeper and deeper. See from the outside towards yourself. What do you see? focus more intently focus more strongly keep on focusing till you see your inner self focus come in the moment come in the now this inner self of yours wants to embrace you and this is the journey you have to take you have to stop looking at the outside results stop looking at what's happening outside and start focusing inside and there is a law of correspondence which says that your outer world reflects your inner world whatever you asking for is not outside it's inside you all the answers are inside the peace joy happiness all that is inside and what you have inside is what you see outside a lot of time people are looking for happiness joy love outside it is not outside it is inside you so focus more go inside go inside this journey go inside go deeper and deeper inside you and when you go deeper and deeper inside you you realize that you go beyond this time and space you are an immortal being 
So why is anybody scared of death? Why? Because you are an immortal being and you are energy. You can neither be created nor destroyed. You will live many lives. You can never be destroyed. You just change your form, your identity. You change your identity. And now when you go deeper and deeper inside you, connect with your higher self. Just connect, just try and come in the moment. Don't, don't ask questions, just connect. And you are the beloved child of God in universe. You are love. So why do you have to limit yourself with your fears? Every time you have a fear, 98% it's not even real. And come in oneness with this limitless being who has no fears. Break those shackles in your mind's eye. Just break those shackles in your mind's eye. And see yourself in your mind's eye that you are enough in every way possible. You are a powerful being. You are significant. And yes, you are magnificent. And don't give your power to anybody else. The power is within you. Just come in oneness with this being. And when you're in oneness with everything, take your palms together, rub the palms, feel the warmth, the love, the joy, the happiness, the greatness that you are great and that you are enough in every way possible. And put the palms on your eyes, awaken your senses that yes, you are this limitless being and you will no longer cage yourself with your fears which are not even real. And bring your palms on your ears Feel the warmth, the joy, the love, the happiness. It's all inside you. And you are a limitless being. And put your palms at the back of your neck. Feel the joy, the happiness, the love. And that, yes, you are the beloved child of God in universe. And that your this is your year. 2021 is your year. And bring your palms together in Namaste. Bow down, thank your inner self, thank God, thank the universe, thank your everyone around you because you are connected to everything. And the law of oneness says that you are all coming from the divine oneness. You all have come from there. And when you're in, once you're in oneness with everything, you can open your eyes. So how do you feel? You can write in the chat what you felt, what you experienced, because the more you write, the more it gets instilled in your subconscious mind. 
and it, my learnings are all about experiencing it i'm not here to just come and talk certain words and all that and go no i'm here for all of you great serene i am limitless yes you are so don't give your power to anybody else the society cannot define you and whatever you've achieved till now is because of what you had earlier the condition mindset and i have reprogrammed my subconscious mind in theta state and if a girl next door can do it all of you can do it all of you it just requires the willingness to change yourself and to surrender trinity i have battled many lives and my children in this life are my rewards yes your children are your biggest blessings i phone surrender yes and i'm here for all of you and every class of mine is going to be as experiential or maybe even more than this because you have to experience what i'm talking if you don't experience what i'm talking then it has no relevance thank you nathan elation yes elation okay so it, all of you are my community and you all are a part of my tribe and my vibe is my tribe and i so look forward to seeing you in my next class next saturday at 7 pm ist just leave your email ids here so that my back end team can mail you and if you by any chance don't get the mail the meeting id and passcode will be there on my instagram you can join my instagram id i'll just mention it here my instagram id is author underscore amrita underscore mitru this is my instagram id just join my instagram you will oh sorry i was just sending it i think okay yeah so i'm just mentioning it this is my uh, instagram id you can join the id just by any chance if you don't get the mail uh just go on my creative there'll be a meeting id and passcode you can always join that and i i'm also there on my youtube where i've got people from all over the world who i had very nice in instagram live sessions with so i'll mention my youtube also my youtube is uh akhra amrita mitru you can go and have a look at my videos and uh my facebook of course is author amrita mitru and i have a website which you can have a look there are all these blogs there with the audio and the written which is www.authoramritamitru.com so these are all my handles uh you can go and connect with me on all these handles my instagram youtube facebook website and um mention your email id so that i can send you the mails also and i also want to understand because i know since tj hill she's from my very active facebook follower nathan is from my instagram follower very active one surin is my very active facebook follower uh, lala mina how did you get to know about me i would love to know that please unmute yourself because i don't know from where i got to know you yeah um okay i know you just uh, when i was like you know tony robins Group. Okay, great. Okay. When you just do the the live, yes, I just yes, like 
<laughs> yes, you do a quick live, and I was just yes. came in, in this moment, and that's it. Um, I'm just like, okay. Because I really felt that minutes. I should come for a quick second and just say it in the Tony Robbins thing. And you uh, should. <laughs> no, honestly, you Robbins should. Because one of my biggest mentors, and I, when I started my journey of inner transformation, Tony Robbins came in at that time in my life, and a lot of more mm -hmm. mentors in my life at that time. So I know him for the past four years. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's amazing. <laughs> yes, it's address from there. <laughs> thank you so much. PJ Hill is from Most there. Welcome. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Great. And it's so wonderful to connect with all of you. And thank you so much. Means so much to me. And I feel so blessed that each one of you joined me today. And you are my community. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you in my next class. And it's going to be at 7 p.m. IST. You can mention your email ID so that I can send you the mails. And I'll personally see it myself that you get the mails. So just mention your email IDs. So I've got Prashant's email ID. Sureen, I had taken your email ID last time, so I have your email ID, so you don't have to give it to me again. My backend team has got your ID, Sureen. So I've got your email ID, so that's fine. Thank you, Sureen. You'd given it to me in the first class only. And uh, I would love if uh, TJ Hill could give me the email ID. And of course, Lala Meena and Nathan, of course, so that we are in touch and you get to know more about my classes because it's not going to be just one of the class. So you can mention your email IDs. Thank you, Lalamina, and thank you, Nathan, and thank you, Trinity. I'm just mentioning your email ID here. Trinity, I love your email ID. <laughs> Great email ID. Because every word you write down or you say creates your reality. So I've written down Trinities and uh, Nathan, I'm just writing it down. Thank you, Nathan, for your email ID. And uh, okay, great Trinity, fantastic, very good. And uh, yeah. Thank you so much, Lalamina, for your email ID. And also do mention to your family, friends, your loved ones about the class so that I can give maximum value to all the people because I feel that, you know, I'm blessed when I connect with everybody and I'm able to give my value, what I went through for four years, my inner transformation journey, how I transformed my subconscious mind from a mediocre mindset to an abundant mindset and how I became unstoppable, because each one of you are unstoppable. So I'm going to help you in this journey of transforming your subconscious mind. And we're going to do it together, and I'm there for you. And that calls for hooray. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much, means a lot to me. And I would want to play a song. Uh, I want to, in fact, play a video, which is a very important video. So uh, just give me one second, please. So this is a video on your morning routine, which uh, you must, uh, it's a very important one. So let's hear that out.
So just give me one second, please. I'm just getting the video. Right. Yeah, so just give me one second, please. Instead of jumping out of bed and rushing right into the stress of what you need to do, breathe. Take a moment to eliminate the stress and realign your mind, body, and brain with the joy that does inside you. You get to choose if your day is going to be like every other day or if it's going to be a great day. And you decide first thing in the morning by giving yourself that time to realign your brain to positivity, to redirect your mind to what is good in your life. What is good in your life right now? Take a moment to think about it. Start your day with the intention. Today, I will be present. Today, I will be kind. Today, I will be the example I expect of others. Today, I will give my all in every moment. It's all about intention. When you direct your focus to the good, you will see more good. If your focus is directed to the stress and struggle, you will see more stress and struggle. If you want to be really happy, give thanks. That's the secret. Happy people are grateful people. So spend time in gratitude. Spend time in intention and expectation for what a great day today is going to be. Feed your mind with something positive. Read or listen to something uplifting, something that will grow your mind or spirit. You attract your intentions. You attract your beliefs. You attract what you feel to get up and feel good. When you direct your focus to the good, you will see more good. If your focus is directed to the stress and struggle, you will see more stress and struggle. That is your only job. Get up and get yourself feeling amazing. Ask yourself, how can I feel great today? How can I grow today? How can I make others feel great today? Open your eyes to the magic around you. I guarantee you, you have been missing out on miracles because you have been lost in the stress and noise inside your head. Get out of your head and get into the magic of life. Today is a new day, a fresh, clean canvas. You can paint whatever you want on the canvas, no matter what happens. You are the artist. Add some color, some joy, some life to your canvas. Leave nothing off that canvas. As soon as you get up in the morning, ask yourself, What's really important today? Is it important that I rush around stress and everything I have to get done? Or can I just enjoy this moment? Do I set the tone for the rest of my day? You decide what kind of day you will have, not what happens, but how you will respond to everything that happens. You can respond positively to any situation. 
Yeah, so I'm going to play this video for all of you. So just give me one second, please. Yeah. So this video was very powerful for you all to understand that how important a morning is supposed to be. Because remember, how you start your day is how you end your day. So are you waking up, coming in the now? Or are you waking up, looking at your social media handles, your emails, your text messages? What are you doing at that point when you're just waking up? So it was a very powerful video to be understood. And as I said, morning, M, meditate first thing in the morning. O, oneness with yourself and your environment. R, realign yourself. Don't react to everything in your life. Make your life based on realignment and responsiveness. N, no negativity. I, intention for the day. N, no social media handles. G, gratitude. And night ritual, no negativity, no social media handles. I, intention for the next day. G, gratitude. H, heal yourself. The only journey you have to take is the inward journey. Stop looking at the outside results. Stop asking for validation. Stop looking at what people are saying to you because it should not even matter what they say to you. What should matter is what you say to yourself the whole day. And the T is time for yourself. Time for everything. Time for having a great morning. Time for having a great night, the rituals. Time for yourself because everybody is caught up in everybody else. And that is not even important because you have to be spending time with yourself. You have to make your container full before you can start giving it out to others. So rather than looking for love outside, look for love inside. It's all inside you. Fill yourself up with love every day. And look at yourself in the mirror and say, I appreciate you and say your name. I love you and say your name. And when you do this, inhale, exhale, and say these words. Because every word you say has got power in creating your reality. So thank you so much. It's been such a blessing to have all of you here on my Zoom session. It means so much. And I will see you all next Saturday at 7 p.m. IST. Thank you so much. O Mani Padme Ham, a beautiful chant by the Lai Lama. Ham, indivisibility. Let's stand united together rather than being divided. So thank you so much for joining in today. Thank you. And What's the T know. in night? Yes, Nathan. N is no social media, no negativity. I is intention. G is gratitude. Intention H, for the next day. For the next day. Yes. And then gratitude and heal yourself. And the T is time for yourself. Time for, yourself. Time for your morning time rituals, for time for your night rituals, time for going inside and connecting with your inner self. Okay. Thank you so much. Shukriya. Thank you. And I'll be playing a song before I end this, this beautiful day. So there'll be a song coming in and you can leave anytime you want to. So the class is done, but I'll be playing a song.
Thank you so much for everyone for joining in today for my Zoom session. It means a lot and I feel very blessed that we are building up this community. It means a lot. So thank you so much on that note. And I'll see you next Saturday at 7 p.m. IST on my Zoom session. Thank you, Nathan. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, Serene. Thank you, everyone.